Hey guys, I was having a nightmare of a time last week trying to review a castable resin, so I never had time to do a video. As I was like a bear with a sore head, this gave me an idea of what to do this week. I headed over to Thingiverse as usual to look for something to work with. Now funnily enough, someone wrote to me in a huff about doing exactly this. We'll call him Peter, Peter Ness. He said that taking files from Thingiverse was stealing. I just deleted his message as I didn't think it was wise to engage with him. I thought it might affect the medication he's obviously taking. But for those who aren't sure, Wikipedia says this. Thingiverse is a website dedicated to the sharing of user-created digital design files. So that's the whole point. People are kind enough to donate these files to the maker community. I've even added a few files there myself. So don't be afraid to make use of this excellent free resource, guys. As I planned on using castable resin again, I incorporated a semi-circular sprue into the design. You don't have to do this, but I like the simplicity of it. It only uses pennies worth of resin, so it's not much different in price to using a wax sprue, but it's much more convenient. As you can see, I'm casting a few other things here for a few other folk. I'm gonna be using the Powercast Burn resin once again. As I've come to expect, it prints beautifully. It was just a matter of cutting away any supports and sanding any blemishes with fine graded paper. I bought a wax melting pen this week. I fancied giving one of these a go for a while. I've placed a link to one on Amazon in the description so you can see what you're looking for. They're not badly priced and I've really enjoyed using this one. It's much cleaner and much more controlled than an alcohol burner. Folks have been asking me about my pouring basin. Well, for me, it's not worth printing a PLA base when I'm using castable resin. So I came up with this idea instead. It's a simple homemade silicon base.
the silicon base comes off nice and easily and the pouring basin doesn't look too bad. But does it work? The pouring basin worked quite well, I think. That casting stone looked too bad at all. Not much cleaning is needed really, thanks to the castable resin. This is fine graded abrasive. That's all I really want to do, along with a spin in the tumbler. A little polishing will make things look nice. Not too bad really. There's a few blemishes and imperfections, but I have to say the castable resin makes this process a lot easier. I've only got two of these bare pendants. I'll place them on my Etsy store if anybody wants them. So there you go guys. Another easy outing with castable resin. Amazing what you can do at home with a resin printer and some appropriate resin. I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Take care and thanks for watching.